Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Agro here again, and um, since my last video was about how to clean a floppy drive, I thought what might be a good idea next was to show you how to clean a floppy disk. Uh, yes, you can actually clean a floppy disk if it isn't reading properly, um, registering bad sectors, etc. You can actually uh, correct the issue. Now, I kind of went on a disc cleaning spree earlier, so I don't have that many really bad ones right now. But uh, here's one with some issues. Um, what you do is you bring the disc until you see the disc surface in focus with kind of a diffused light in the background. And you look for little, little blemishes on the disc. And you slowly, slowly turn the disc in, the, uh, in its case okay like you, you uh, see if I can show you this I'm sorry it's out of focus I, I, I'm in macro mode I'm using three hands and it's also in manual focus so what you do is you just grab the edge of the disc like so I know this goes against what a lot of people think and you, you give it a little twist okay and you look you look down here and you get your light reflecting off of the surface of the disc and you go up and down you move it a little bit so I can actually get it to move while holding it like this you move it a little bit then you get it back in focus and you look up and down and you look for the areas where the disc isn't quite as shiny okay um, for example I think this is in the spot with it Thought I saw. Some. Yep, there, there's uh, something there. That's actually a pretty good little bad spot right there. Uh, there's some junk on the disc. Now, if your disc is giving you problems on one side and you're trying to figure out what side it is, remember, the drive reads the opposite side of what's facing up. It always reads from the bottom. So if you're having a problem with side B, look at the surface on side A and vice versa. If you're having a problem with side A, look at the surface of side B. So, how do you clean this, you might ask, um, without damaging the casing and all this other stuff? Well, it's, it's, it's real simple. Um, all you need, and these actually work absolutely great for this, is the ubiquitous Q-tip. <clears throat> and some good old isopropyl alcohol. Now, you want to use about 70 to 80 percent. I wouldn't go much higher than that. Oop, got some down my arm. <laughs> That's cold. Ugh. And what you do, let me back this off a little bit and refocus it some. There we go, that's a little bit better. I'm actually holding the disc and the camera in one hand. Now, I, the reason I'm using this particular disc is I really don't care what about this disc. This disc is labeled Tuesday. Cleaning it might give me a nice formatted disc. So what you do is you run up and down the thing here. The opening. Don't be too shy, but don't over wet it. Then you flip the flip the Q-tip over and you dry it. This works on fingerprints, little bits of uh, cloudiness on the disc. You want to make sure you get this fully dry. My Q-tip's falling apart, so give me a second here. Do 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 do. Let me grab another Q-tip. Right. <clears throat> you dry off the area completely, and uh, if there's anything left on it, looks like there might just be a little bit. You hit it again with the wet side of the Q-tip. Um, 
Wearing some cloth gloves or something might be a good idea. That way you can put your hand behind the disc. You don't want to crinkle the disc. But uh, you can't be too afraid to give it a little bit of pressure unless the disc is in a very delicate condition. Then you want to take your time. So put it down again. Get that one little area and go back to our drying Q-tip. We dry off the area. Twist it a little bit. Make sure you keep the clean surface at the disc. Check and make sure that you've gotten all of the, the, the stuff you're trying to clean. Now, don't worry too much about the mild bit of uh, alcohol you leave behind. There is a padding in the disc that will uh, absorb that and not affect too much. Uh, do not get the wild idea to just pour alcohol in it and let the padding try to clean the disc. All you'll manage to do is burn out your drive motor. Um, And once you've cleaned your disc and you've gone over the entire disc, because uh, you notice I've moved a little bit and there might be a different little spot that has a... Uh, nope, it seems to be pretty clean right now. Uh, you go over the entire radius of the disc, spin it completely around a couple of times, not just once, but go around a couple of times. Make sure that everything's shiny and you've gotten it fully clean. Uh, keep your wet Q-tip wet and your dry Q-tips dry. I actually have a lot of dry Q-tips. And uh, you'll be surprised at how many discs you can bring back from the brink. Simply by giving them a clean. This is Agro, signing off for your daily retro quick fix. Well, I don't know if it's daily, but hey, sounds good.